Hey everyone, it's Aimee, your e-commerce growth expert. In today's video, I'm here to guide you through the process of setting up an event in Shopify using EV Events and Tickets. Before we dive in, make sure to install the EV Events app from the Shopify App Store for a seamless experience. Now let's get started. Once you log into your Shopify account and have the EV Events and Tickets app installed, follow these simple steps. First, Click on the Create Event button located at the top right of your screen. This initiates the process, taking you directly to the setup page where you'll input all the necessary event details. Now let's kick things off with your event name. If you haven't decided on one yet, take a moment to think of something attention-grabbing. In this example, I'm creating an event for a cooking class, so the name will be Beginner's Cooking Class. Next up is the Date section offering three options, a one-time event, a recurring event, or no date yet if you're still deciding. No stress, adjustments can be made later once you finalize when you want your event to take place. In this instance, I'll choose a recurring event and set up the details later. Now set the location of your event. For in-person events, enter the address here. For online events, add the link to your live stream or virtual meet. And for tours or similar events, utilize the origin or destination feature. If you're undecided on the location, no worries, leave it blank for now. After filling in your event details, make them visible to customers in your Shopify store. You can opt to save it as a draft initially or make it available for purchase right away. Now it's time to set the price for your tickets and how many people you can accommodate. If you have different ticket types, you can set those up later once this has been saved. For example, let's set the ticket price at $150 and allow up to 20 attendees. Finally, click on the Save Event button and you'll be directed to additional settings. Now that we've covered the initial setup, let's explore additional settings using the Event Settings page. Starting with the Events tab, you'll discover all the information required to customize your event, including the details that we set up earlier. Since we opted for a recurring event, this is where you can set the date. So navigate to this section and from here, double click on a date and set the time and date of your event. For beginner's cooking class, let's make this event repeat every two weeks and have the cooking class run for five days covering Monday through Friday. You can also specify an end date for this recurring event or add more schedules if you wish. Additionally, within the event tab, you'll find additional settings for inventory and ticket types. Moving forward, under Tickets, you can introduce various ticket types to your event, perhaps VIP tickets for some other occasions. This section also allows you to customize your appearance, aligning your tickets with your brand or team seamlessly. Now, if you want to customize the notifications your customers receive, head over to the Notifications tab. Here, you'll be able to get a sneak peek of the email or text your customers will receive and even tweak some of the details to make them really interesting. Now in the Customers and Tags section, decide whether you want to create customer accounts for your attendees and add tags to your event product. Under Attendee Information, set up the necessary details you need from your customers before they purchase tickets. Then the Check-in tab is where you'll be able to manage your attendees and make sure everything runs smoothly on the day of the event. You can even access the check-in interface from your computer, mobile, or tablet devices. And lastly, if you need to integrate any third-party features, you can do that under the Integrations tab. Now, don't forget to save your changes as you go to make sure everything applies to your event right away. And as you can see here, creating an event with EV events and tickets is incredibly straightforward, and your customers can effortlessly purchase their tickets once you're done. And that's it! Should you have any questions or if you want more useful tutorials, drop a comment below. Stay tuned for our latest videos by hitting that subscribe button. We've got exciting updates coming your way. Thank you for watching everyone.